Hello, this is Jennifer Priest, and today I want to share with you how to add an HTML button to your Blogger blog or your WordPress blog. So the first thing you're going to need to do is upload the image somewhere onto your blog. And you could either do this by uploading it to a photo bucket or some kind of off-site hosting or by uploading it directly to your blog. Then when the, you see the image, you're going to right-click it. And on this drop-down menu, if you scroll down, you can see where it says Copy Image URL. You're going to click that. Now, if the image is something that you just want it to be your button and you don't want it to show up on your blog, I would post it on your blog in a post for like 1982 or something like that, where it shows up way at the end or way in the beginning so that it's not visible to everybody. So once you've clicked on that button to copy the URL, you're going to click the Design button to get into your... Uh, dashboard on your blog and on blogger you're going to click layout from layout you're going to click add a gadget and you're going to choose the html javascript button so click the plus sign and it'll add the button now you're going to start typing out your code first you're going to do the little open bracket that looks like a uh, less than or greater than sign and you're going to type a h r e f so that's a h ref and that's the link that when someone clicks on the button, that's the link that the button's going to take them to. So you're going to, after you type A, H, R, E, F, and you have to have a space between A and H, I'm going to type the equal sign, the quote mark, paste your link, and then put another quote mark and a closed bracket. I don't have the link yet, so I'm just going to type my code so I know where I'm going to put the link, and then I'll add the rest of my code. So after I close that bracket, then I'm going to open another bracket that says IMG for image and then SRC for source with an equal sign and then another quotes and I'll paste that link that I copied for the image with a close quote and then a close bracket. Now I'm going to put it an open bracket, forward slash A and a close bracket. That's going to tell the code that that's where my button ends or where I want that link to end so that if they're clicking on other stuff on my blog it doesn't all go to that other button. So now what I'm going to do is get the link that I want that button to take people to. So just go up to your, uh, you can go to your blog and then copy that URL for whatever it is that you want the link to go to, whether it's your shop or YouTube channel or whatever it is. After you've copied that link, which you can do by just doing control C, you're going to paste it between the quote marks on the ahref section of code. So now your code is pretty much ready to go. There's just a couple other things that we want to do. One is good for good SEO when you are in the image source section. You want to type alt and then equals and then a quote mark and then an alternate title for this image and then a closed quote mark. What that does is if the image doesn't work on somebody's computer, this text will show up telling them what was there so that they could still click on it. Also, it's good for SEO. It tells uh, Google and the web crawlers that uh, this link is about the daily scrapbook page or whatever it is that your thing is about. After you've done that, go ahead and publish it and then you can see what it looks like on your site. So you might notice that it's a little too big. So you can change the size and it's going to be in the section of the code that's for the image. So the part that starts with image source at the end of that section, you can type in the width equals and then the marks and then you're going to enter the width and you can do the same thing with the height. So if you just enter width, it's going to change just the width but not the height. So you need to enter the width and the height that you want and then enter them in pixels and again the number for the pixels to be between those quote marks. Click save and then now you can look at your button to see if it's the right size. And you can keep adjusting the pixel size until you get it to be exactly the size that you want. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this helps you with adding code to your blog. If you're using a WordPress blog instead of using a little box like we do on Blogger, you'll just use a widget to add text or HTML to your sidebar and then in that widget you'll use the same code.